I think it's important for us to differentiate prognostic and predictive biomarkers. Prognostic biomarkers are independent of the treatment. Uh, it tells the, the, inform the, the, the uh, informants on the uh, outcomes that are long-term usually uh, independent of the treatment modalities, where, whereas a predictive biomarker is uh, a factor that is usually measured before or, or during treatment that will give us information on which patient will most likely uh, respond to a specific therapy. And um, uh, if we go to national guidelines like NCCN, we'll see that there are prognostic biomarkers, several prognostic biomarkers for prostate cancer, whereas we don't have any predictive biomarkers that can help us define specific therapies for a specific patients. For you, I'm talking about localized prostate cancer. So uh, with that in mind, we, we validated the uh, Decipher uh, cl genome classifier uh, in the SAKK0910 trial that was a Swiss study uh, uh, performing 24 centers, randomized 350 patients, to do two different doses of radiation to the prostate bed, 64 versus 70 gray. And uh, what this study found is that a median follow-up of six years, there was no difference. Um, and uh, we saw that patients that had a high decipher, they had a two more than two times uh, the chance of failure as opposed to patients with low decipher. This was in, based on this prospective study, and not only for biochemical failure, but other important endpoints. However, decipher was not predictive of those response. So if we see the prognostic ability within the 64 and the 78 arm was, was, was very similar. The interaction test between decipher status and the dose was not statistically significant. So we cannot use the cipher to decide which patients will get low, lower or higher doses. So then next, we decided to assess PORTOS. PORTOS is a 24 uh, uh, gene uh, 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 score that may, uh, uh, includes DNA repair genes and some immune modulation genes as well, and was published in 2016. And, and then we assess PORTUS as a prognostic and predictive biomarker. So when we saw PORTUS did not, uh, high versus low PORTUS patients uh, did not have any difference in terms of prognosis. The failure rates is the same. So therefore, PORTUS is not a good prognostic biomarker. But when we assess PORTUS as a function of dose, uh, although there was a difference, uh, a small difference in patients with lower PORTUS, the most important difference was on patients with high portus. So patients with high portus receiving a 70 grade to the prostate bed had a much better outcome. So um, this is very important because this tells us, suggests that those patients who have a high portus should receive higher doses of radiation, therefore being a, a potential predictive biomarker of those response. So this is an important finding. Uh, is based on the randomized clinical trial. However, it's still a retrospective study and based on exploratory analysis. Therefore, it needs to validate it in, in, in further cohorts.